Hey you guys, it's Kristen and welcome back to The Gold Project. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you what I got for Christmas and my birthday. Now, originally I did not plan on filming this video. I did not even think about it, but I had some people reach out to me and ask if I would share what I received for Christmas and my birthday. Now, if you, um, if you do not know this, Christmas is exactly a week before my birthday. My birthday is January 1st. So when I make out a Christmas list, I also make out a birthday list. It kind of is the same thing. So I decided to throw in my birthday presents in this video as well. Now, I love to watch this type of video. I love to see what people got for their birthday and Christmas and any type of gifting occasions. So please do not feel like this is a bragging type of video. That's not my intention at all. I had some people ask me and I decided to share it with you guys. At first, when I decided to do this video, I was going to group everything by category, you know, shoes, home decor, and all of that. But then I decided it might be better to do it by who gave me the gift. So we are gonna start out with my sister-in-law. My sister-in-law is in the Air Force and she gets to travel a lot. And she surprised me with not one, but three new Starbucks mugs. Now she had a conference she had to attend in New Orleans a couple of months ago. And I asked if she would get me the New Orleans mug for either my birthday or Christmas. And she got it for me for Christmas. So I'm super excited to add this one to my collection. It will make, I think, mug number 13. But this was not the only mug that she got me. I have looked at the overseas Starbucks mugs for a while, but I did not put any thought into them because I knew I don't plan on going overseas. There's no way I'm gonna get those mugs. Well, my sister-in-law got two for me. She had a friend that was going overseas and that friend picked two mugs up for me. I have one from Saudi Arabia. And these are actually bigger than the You Are Here mugs that they sell in the States. So I don't really understand why this is so much bigger than this one, but it is. And then she got me this one. And I do not know how to pronounce it. Is it Bahrain? B-A-H-R-A-I-N. So I am super excited to actually add two overseas Starbucks mug to my collection. Next, I am going to talk about what I got from my sister and brother-in-law. Now, for Christmas, I asked for a new Kate Spade wristlet from them. Now, when I found this one, it was, oh... It was on sale, and then it was an additional, I want to say, 20 or 25% off. So it's originally, I want to say, like $168. It's not on here. I think it was like $168, and when I asked her to get it for me, it was down to like $58. So it is, y'all know I love wristlets. This is the Kate Spade Layton Primrose wristlet. I absolutely love this wristlet. I had never seen this in person, but y'all know I loved my green Layton wristlet so much that I saw this one on the Kate Spade website and I don't have a red one and I thought I really want that one. So I asked them to get it for me. And it is so much prettier in person. So it's, it's the same as my green one. It's organized the same way. It's got the little front pocket here. It's got a big zip pocket and it's got the front pocket that you can use for like change. But the difference in this one, the feel of the leather is not the same and it's got this beautiful little bow accent in the front. So I am super excited to use this wristlet in the future. Now we're gonna talk my birthday. I asked my sister, I said, if you could just get me two things for my birthday, that's all you have to get me. I want the Ray Dunn cookies canister and I want the poor pitcher. So we called for two weeks, every Home Goods, TJ Maxx and Marshalls in her area to try to locate these two items. Now I have been told that they only sell the 
I think both of them at the Home Goods, or you can find them at the TJ Maxx slash Home Goods stores. But we were still calling every single store just in case. After about two weeks, I finally called one of the stores, and you guys, by then, they knew who we were. They were like, didn't I talk to you yesterday? Um, I think so. You either talked to me or my sister. And it got to where when we called, they'd be like, okay, we'll talk to you later, because they knew we were going to call the next day. So I finally called, and a gentleman told me that they had the cookies canister. So they held it for me until my sister could pick it up, and she sent me a picture, and it was the right one. So now I have the cookies canister. I'm super excited. I mean, when I got to my mom's for Christmas, she already had this there, and it was like seriously bubble wrapped. I mean, really, really bubble wrapped. And she goes, I'm handing this over to you now. Now you're responsible for it. If it breaks, then it's on you. But she paid $12.99 for this in store. Some places are paying $14.99. Now, when I asked her to get both of those items for me, I said, it was not meaning go on the internet and spend $200 on each one of them. And you might think I'm crazy, but there are people charging $200 for the cookies canister. So I wanted her to find them in store. So we found the cookies canister. So now we're just waiting to see if we can find the poor picture. Now I'm going to talk about a few of the things that my mother-in-law got me for Christmas and my birthday. Now some of the presents that she got me for Christmas were ones that were for me and my husband together. And the first thing I'm going to share with you is something that was for both of us. And that is a new shredder. Now you can't really see the whole thing on screen. But it did come from Amazon. We didn't want to spend a ton of money on a shredder. The shredder that we had before this one, we had had for probably three, three, four years. And my mother-in-law purchased it for us. But it went kaput about two or three months ago, you guys. We used our shredder a lot. So we got a lot of use out of it. So I immediately said when that shut down that we needed a new one and it would be a great Christmas present. So I started looking for reasonable priced shredders and ones with great reviews. And I ended up liking this one from Amazon and it says Amazon Basics. And make sure, I'm not sure the name of this one, but everything that I talk about today, I'll make sure to leave in the description below. Now, in addition to that, I'm also going to share the item that she got for just me. Now, I've shared, I think I said this in my Christmas wish list video, that I just don't buy shoes for myself. I know there are shoe type of people, but when it comes to shoes, I just don't purchase shoes for myself. I usually ask for shoes as presents. Now, the last pair of tennis shoes that I received was before my son was born. And that was back in, I think I got that pair in 2012 from my parents. So I still wear those pink ASICs all the time, but it was time for a new pair. So I searched and I found these Nike, what are they called? Nike Flex 2015, I think it's Run, it says RN. And I absolutely love them. And I found them on 6pm.com. Y'all know I love that website. They're very lightweight. And you guys, I like gray tennis shoes. I like neutral colors. I don't think, I don't like anything that's just kind of wow in your face. I like it to kind of be a subtle color so it can match everything. And also, I do not like big bulky tennis shoes. I like them to be low profile. Because, I mean, really, I don't really run in them or anything. They're just specifically for walking around my classroom or going to the grocery store or anything like that. Now, for my birthday, my mother-in-law purchased me another Ray Dunn clay piece. And she purchased me the coffee canister. And just like most of the other presents that I have received... I actually picked this out and purchased it with her credit card because I wanted it so bad. I did not get this one in the store. I purchased it through Mercari. I think that's how you pronounce it. M-E-R-C-A-R-I. I have a few sellers on there that I really like to shop through. And I got this from one of them. Now, I like the Mercari app, but you just have to make sure that you purchase from the right people. 
Next, we're gonna talk about what my mom and stepdad got me. And for Christmas, one of the first things they got me were the Ray Dunn salt and pepper sellers. I think these are so cute. Look at the back, the little stitching on the back, just that extra detail I absolutely love. These were purchased through Amazon. So if they're still available, I will put a link in the description below. In addition to that, you guys know that I like headbands. Now, a lot of mine have came from, or most of mine up until this point, have came from the Savvy Coconut. And I will make sure to put that link in the description below. But Schaefer from Schaefer Told Me To had shared a couple of months ago this company called Headbands of Hope. And what makes this company so special is that for every item sold, a portion of the proceeds are given to childhood cancer research and hospital needs. So you purchase a headband and then they give a headband to a child that is suffering from cancer. So I am all about helping small businesses and especially small businesses with a huge purpose. So as soon as she shared that, I marked that into my mind, like I have got to purchase some headbands from there. So I told my mom I would like two of them for Christmas and she picked me up two, uh, or she purchased me two of the turbans. I got the bandana turban. I'm gonna stretch it on out, so. There's what it, that's what it looks like. And then you can kind of scrunch it up like so, so it works as a headband. So she got me the bandana turban and then also the, I think it's called the Fiesta turban. I just loved all of the bright colors on this. So this was the other one that I asked for. And just like the other one, it's kind of like a little tube. And then you just kind of scrunch it up and it works as an awesome headband. Okay, the next thing that they got me, I'm just going to mention and that's it. I'm not going to really show you the inside of it because I am going to do a review of it at the end of January. And that is the Vera Bradley Ultimate Crossbody in the, I guess it's Cognic, is that how they pronounce it? C-O-G-N-A-C color. And I absolutely love this. I have already started using it. And I've had several people ask me to review this when I posted a picture on Instagram and Facebook. So I will be sharing a review of this at the end of January. Okay, now for the birthday items that they got me. I can't really show you the first thing, which is a shoe because it's not here with me. I'm actually filming this video before my birthday, so I may get an additional few things for my birthday, but the things that I do know and the things that I have in my possession, I'm sharing with you guys. So the first one that they got me was a pair of the Cole Haan Pinch Weekender shoes in the, it's like bright pink, I'm not sure the name of it. I think it, maybe Fuchsia is the name. I think it's Fuchsia. But my mom purchased these through 6pm.com, I will pop up a picture, and they are normally $100 shoes. I found them on 6pm for, I think it was roughly $49, so I asked her if she would purchase me those for my birthday, and she did. Now, the last thing that they got me for my birthday is actually set up, and you've probably seen it all over Instagram because it's part of my kitchen, so I'm going to pop up some pictures here. It is the Better Homes and Gardens Cross Mill Cabinet. So I purchased this from Walmart, or my mom purchased this from Walmart, and it was $129. And I must say, I absolutely love this cabinet. It kind of brings my entire kitchen together, and I cannot wait to share the entire thing fully decorated with you, hopefully at the end of January or beginning of February. Last but definitely not least, we are going to talk about what my husband got me for Christmas and my birthday. And we're going to start with one of my stocking stuffers, and that is the Hanes Tagless Tanks. You guys, I wear these every single day. I would say I wear these 365 days a year. I get the one that's designed for the men because it is longer. I am pretty tall 
and when I go to work or go out and about, I like to have a layered look and I like something that covers my rear end. So I wear a tank top under almost everything all year long. So I always ask him to buy me a new set for Christmas for my stocking. Now, the next two things I'm going to talk about are shoes. See, I told you I don't ever purchase shoes. I just ask for them for gifts. So I've already talked about two shoes that I've gotten, and now here is two more. So he got me, let me open the box. I told you guys that my mom got me the Fuchsia Cole Haan Pinch Weekender shoes. I guess you'd call them boat shoes. And my husband got me the silver ones. I absolutely love these. So I got this shoe idea from one of my co-workers. She had the most adorable shoes, these shoes on for several months. She'd wear them with cute dresses, um, capri pants. And I finally asked her where she got them and she said that they were Cole Hans and that she got them in one of her monthly um, clothing subscription kits. And I'm thinking it was the, is it called the Stitch fix i'll put the name down here below so immediately when she shared where she got the shoes i immediately went on the internet to see if i could find them i found them and i asked my husband to get them for me for christmas and i think hers were the gold color but i wear more silver than i wear gold so i asked for the silver pair and the second pair of shoes that I asked him to purchase me were Sperry Topsiders. Now, I have worn these type of shoes since 2006. And every time I have a pair that starts to look worn, I'll ask for a new pair. And I have done that for probably 10 plus years. So, the pair that I just got rid of yesterday was looking really rough. And it was like a leopard print on the side. You couldn't even tell that it was leopard. It had rubbed off so much. So it was time for a new pair. So I asked my husband to get me a pair and he got me these right here. And these are the bluefish linen and oat color. And this was the original one that I purchased or I asked for, no, I think I purchased my first one that I purchased back in 2006. So I guess I'm going back to my original style. But I love Sperry's topsiders because they go with absolutely everything. I love to wear them when I go to work with sweaters and jeans. And the last thing that my husband got me for Christmas is in this cute little Swarovski box. And let me give you a little background information. I am really not a huge jewelry person. I wear a wedding ring daily and maybe a simple necklace and that is it. I have earrings but I don't ever wear them. I don't have any studs or just simple type of earrings. All of my, all of my earrings have been purchased, oh, probably eight, 10 years ago, and I don't wear them a whole lot because I really don't like any of them that I have. So I asked my husband to get me these simple Swarovski earrings that my sister-in-law had and I absolutely loved. It is a set of two. So they come with a little tiny hoop and then a tiny stud. So I, oh, Lord, look at me. So I am, so I am really excited to have a simple pair of earrings that I can wear with everything every single day. Now I'm gonna share the best for last. Now, let's see, about a month ago, my husband texted me while I was at work and said, I want to get you something for your birthday and I don't want to tell you what it is, but I'm scared of getting it without asking you first. He said, I've got two things that I can't decide which one to get you for your birthday. And he said, and I said, well, just go ahead and ask me, you know, it's not that big of a deal if I know what my birthday present is. So he said, I wanted to either get you Garth Brooks tickets. Garth Brooks will be in Memphis in February this year. Garth Brooks, I have loved him since, I think that was the first CD I got back when I was probably like eight years old. Absolutely love him. I would love to see him in concert. Or he said, a laptop. So I asked him, how much is, how much are the Garth Brooks tickets? And he said, I don't want to tell you. And I said, 
I, I need to know how much the Garth Brooks tickets are. And he said, um, about half of the laptop. And as much as I would love to see Garth Brooks in concert, I just cannot justify in my head spending half of the amount of money as a laptop. So I said, uh, no, just get me the laptop. I, would, I need a laptop. I've needed one for a long time. That's what I want. So, we have a laptop on order and it should be here tomorrow. So, I'm so, so excited and you might be wondering what I went with. My husband is the one that knows, like, I know how to run a computer and do the editing and Photoshop and all that, but he knows the ins and outs of a computer. He knows how much RAM I need, how much memory, all of that. I don't know anything about all that. So, he has spent probably two months looking at different brands, looking at storage, prices, and all that. Y'all know I had my heart set on an Apple laptop, but you guys, I just could not spend that much money on a laptop. I didn't want him to spend that much on a laptop. So we decided to go with, or he decided to go with the Asus laptop and I'm not sure the ins and outs of it, but he said it's a gaming type of laptop that has great graphics and excellent video editing software. So that was, I think, a lot cheaper than the Apple, and it's got just as much, um, and it's got just as much storage and abilities as the Apple laptop. And y'all know that I will share a picture of it with you in the near future when it arrives on my doorstep. And you guys, that is what I received for my Christmas and birthday. Make sure to check out the description below for links to all of the products that I have talked about. I hope y'all give this video a thumbs up and I hope you subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope y'all have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.